Church is a school. Church model is a school. I didn't have time to talk about it yesterday. See, there are two kinds of ministry. There are there are there are ministry pattern after the order of Aaron, which is the old order. It's not the will of God. There is a ministry, the plan of God, the New Testament ministry is after the order of Melchizedek. Do you understand? The old the order is gone. But we still build church. For 10 years I was building church after Aaronic order. Amen? Amen. And I will try to raise structure if it's cooler. I will try to raise, you know, I was one until the Lord revealed to me through that one apostle. That ministry must be built after the order of Melchizedek. It's apostolic ministry. And that's what Mama was saying. That's what our sister testified, evangelist testified. That Mama is encouraging us to stand. And Mama is telling you, do ministry inside ministry. That's an apostolic word. Do you understand? A pastor, with, a pastor who's not secure cannot tell you that. Because if you do ministry, they might not see you again. Do you understand? It's ministry is that ministry. You don't have to leave. Do your ministry inside the ministry. Find who you are. Develop who you are. And stand on who you are. And use it for the kingdom of God. If I don't want to say, stay where you are planted and bloom. Make yourself that without you, some things cannot get done. Yes. You make yourself valuable. Yes. I understand people, God has no favor. But those who make God favorite becomes God's favorite. Amen. I'll say that again. God has no favorites. But those who make God favorite become God's favorite. Pastor has no favorite. But those who make pastor favorite become pastor's favorite. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, Those who make themselves available for service become pastors' favorite. Because pastors need workers. We need people that you, you flap, snap your feet and they are there. You need them. We need them. You can't function with that. Jesus had 12 men and had 70. Are you following what I'm saying? Every minister needs the 12 disciples. Every leader needs this thing. The dream thing. Amen? So be a dream team. Make yourself available. Forget about what somebody is saying. And don't let somebody talk about your church in your presence. It is the person is sorting you. You can't sit down, somebody is talking about your mom and your dad, and you are laughing with them. Do you? So how can somebody be talking about your church and your pastor and you are smiling? And I know. No, it's not a discussion. That's where you feel. When somebody, you ask somebody to do that, they take it, you, they are robbing you of your grace. You come as you come and you go as you go. The grace no longer work for you. Because you need the grace of a house when you dwell. Do you, why? Do we, we have the Holy Ghost who carry the present, the one you need the pastor. Do you understand what I'm saying? The, we carry the present. God lives in you. Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. Then why will he give us pastors? Hmm. Is the Holy Spirit not enough to live? Why do you need a pastor? Every sheep need a shepherd. That's mm -hmm. it. From where I come from, they say, we go back from the domo A goat that has no owner <laughs> becomes food for cheap as it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every shepherd needs a sheep. And under your shepherd, there is a grace for your covering. Do you understand? Yeah. That is why sometimes you somebody said, I was running, my pastor came in my dream. Is he sleeping? Pastor is sleeping and snoring. <laughs> is he pastor? Is no. <laughs> is he spirit that came? Are you following what I'm saying? And deal with that issue. Why? Because you are under the covering. Some people are in church, they are not under the covering. Because they don't know. Amen? They don't know. If you are in the church, you think I can do whatever I want. A rebellious heart stays in the wilderness. Mm. Do you understand? Only a submissive heart. We're talking about wisdom for the glory. Amen. 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 That's part of my message I want to deal with. Wisdom for glory. Amen. And these are part of the wisdom for glory. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And first and first, let's go ahead. Father, we give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm your vessel. And I can do nothing without you. What I have is not my own, it's yours. Who I am is what you have made me. I did not learn this from school, not in the Bible school. It is your grace. And the glory belongs to you. Flow as you will. Touch your people. Let your people be at the fire. Let Christ be magnified. Let the Father be glorified. Amen. And let the work of the enemy be nullified. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 12. I take it from verse 11 for context sake. It says, as you know, how we exalted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father does his children. This is the job of a shepherd. Amen? He Amen. said, as we exalted, it's our job to exalt you, to comfort you, and also to charge you. Amen? Amen. As a father does his children. That you walk, that you would walk worthy of God. That's what our evangelist was teaching us. To walk worthy of God. You say you are a Christian. What is the evidence of your Christianity? If you are convicted for, for Christianity, is there any, enough evidence to put you in jail? If you are convicted for being a Christian, is there a, enough evidence to put you in jail? For being a Christian. Amen? Some people have no evidence of Christianity in their life. Amen? Amen. They will try them in court say, no, you are not a Christian. <laughs> Some of you don't understand that. It's a work worthy of God who has called you unto his kingdom and glory. Say, God, God. has called me has called unto his kingdom, unto his kingdom. And, and glory. glory. You didn't get that? Say, I'm called to glory. I'm called to glory. Say, I'm called to glory. Did you see that in, your, in the word of God? God called you to what? Glory. To his kingdom and glory. Hello? Amen. Where are you called to? To glory. What is the opposite of glory? Shame. What is glory? Honor. honor. What is the opposite? Dishonor. Honor. So God has not called you to dishonor, mm -hmm. but to honor. Amen. What is glory? The beauty of God. God has called you to his beauty. You are to radiate the beauty and the honor of God. Hello? Uh -huh. Is that not what we're talking about? Yes. God has not called you to shame but to glory. Amen. Is somebody with me? Yes, sir. Yes. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has called you not to dishonor, not to shame, but to what? To honor and glory. To honor and glory. Now go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. In the mount of two or three witnesses, every word is established. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 14, that scripture declared, Where unto he called you by our gospel, to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello? All right. Where unto he called. You say he called me. He called me by the gospel. By the gospel. To the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you are called to obtain. Say I'm called to obtain. I am called to obtain. I am an obtainer. A recipient. A receiver of the glory of the Lord Jesus. That's what the word of the Lord is saying. Amen? Amen. First Peter 5. First Peter 5, verse number 10. It said, But the God of all grace, who has called us, are you there? Yes, sir. But the God of all grace, God is the God of all grace. That means grace. Various. There are all manners of grace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But God is the God of all. There is healing grace. There is ministry grace. 
There is business grace. There is writing grace. There is, you know, all kinds of grace, but it is grace manifested by the same Holy Spirit. He said the God of all grace, not just a small God, the God of all grace, the majesty of all grace, the Elohim of all grace, the El Shaddai of all grace, the El Elohim El of all grace, the Elohim of all grace, is God of all grace. Oh, I feel like preaching. I'm just holding myself, trying to be a gentleman. He is the Adonis Keeper. But the God of all grace who has called us and called. Say, I'm called. I'm called. I'm called. I'm called. I am summoned. I am summoned. I am choosing. I am choosing. I'm elected. I am elected. That's what it means. Called. It, 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 it puts some aside. And single me out. Now you tell me to be depressed because of circumstances. No, I was picked. He, knew, he knows me. He knows my name. He knows my address. Do you understand? Yes. Sometimes, you know, them days, sometimes I walk through the whole week. I may not have five euros in my pocket. But when somebody, the people meet me, they say, why do you always smile? Amen. Why do you always smile? Even when I don't want to smile, their face is used to smile. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? Their face is used to smile. Why? And people say, when you see a dog dancing, you don't hear sound. But the dog hears sound on that ground. Do you understand? There is something in me that cannot allow me to be depressed. Amen. Do you understand? Sometimes my wife thinks that this man, my, my, this my husband, don't just care about some certain things. I do care, but I can't take care yeah. unto the Lord. Hallelujah. If God cannot do it, I cannot do it. Do you understand? Yeah. If He cannot handle it, I cannot handle it. Do you understand? I think for a solution. I don't think for the problem. Some people analyze problem, diagnose problem, magnify problem, edify problem. Then the problem becomes times two. Do you understand? But I magnify God. Do you understand? Yes, sir. God does not make mistakes. God does not make mistakes. God is never guilty. God cannot go wrong. God cannot do what is wrong. So if something goes wrong, I ask myself, what did you do? I don't ask God, what did you do? Do you understand? Yes, sir. The Bible said, God, when you are tempted, you are tempted from your lust. God is not a tempter. And neither does it tempt any man. It's a temptation come from our lust. James chapter 1. He said, because every good and every perfect gift is from above, from the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of time. In other words, this God is light. It does not emanate darkness. This God is pure. Our impurity does not come from him. He's holy. Our holiness does not come from him. He is good. Evil does not come from him. Do you understand? Yes. He said every good, if it is good and perfect, is from above. Hallelujah. If it is not good and perfect, it is from the devil. Mama. Do you understand? Yes, sir. He said there is no variableness, neither shadow of calling. He said God does not experience eclipse. <laughs> that the sun take over the moon and there is darkness. He said it does not happen with God. Oh, Satan, I think that's something. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Yes. And coming down from the Father of lights. Sometimes we go through test and trial because God is preparing us for something. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Sometimes a pastor cannot have money. He can be tempted to be annoyed, but he has to know it is a time of trial. We build every man, but just for a night. Take your watch with you because 
Money coming. I said money coming. Because no matter how long the night is, stay long even if you are winter. Can you hold the death star? Can you hold the sun? It's not possible. Joy comes in the morning. Oh, Jesus. But the God of all grace, who has called us into his eternal glory, he has called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Say, I am called. I am called. Into his eternal glory. Into his eternal glory. By Christ Jesus. By Christ Jesus. Do you understand? Now look at that. He said, after that you have suffered a while. Amen? Amen. After that you have suffered a while. Suffer. Is but suffering is there before the glory. But he said the suffering is time. It's what? Time. time. It's not in the it's definite. So it's definite. Amen? Amen. For you, it may be two days. For somebody else, it may be three days. Depending on what God wants to accomplish in them. Do you understand? For somebody else, it may be one month. For somebody, it may be a year. Depending on what God wants to achieve. He is the refiner's fire. Amen. Do you understand? Yes, he refines us so that we can reflect him. Your character is more important than your, your comforts. Go to God. Your character is more important than your comforts. And it takes a while to develop a minister. Uh, it's not somebody starting church. God don't have many ministers. It takes a while. It takes God time and energy and effort to develop one minister. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes, sir. When God has a vessel, it takes time. It takes a while. God uses everything, every situation and circumstances, marriage, ministry, people, to train a minister. That's it. Say, so after you have suffered a while. And when you stand, it is not effort, it's grace. Do you understand what I'm saying now? It's, it, a general in the army does not come. They come with cars. Do you understand? It's, it's a, it's, people mistake anointing for grace. There's a difference between grace and anointing. Anybody can be anointed. You can be anointed. I mean, gift. They mistake gift. For grace, for, 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 for gift is gift is anointing. Are you following what I'm saying? Gift can be quantified as an anointing. Healing anointing is healing gift. Amen? Amen. But the grace, the power, the gift is different. A, a man of God might not even prophesy, but he's not there with grace. That when he speaks, it happens. Oh my God. Grace. It takes a while for God to develop a genuine minister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And most of us that are pastoring, we are still on this school, that pastor office. Do you understand? They are pastors, but they are so to God, they are Sunday school teachers. Yes. <laughs> they can have big ministry. To God, they are what? Sunday school teachers. This thing. After he, he said, God who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After that, you have suffered a while. Make you perfect. Make, 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 make. make. Hear that word? Make. make, make you mature. That's what the perfect is. It's mature. Grow, develop, to grow, make you perfect. The God's agenda is to make us perfect. The resources is for us to do the work. God's agenda is not to give us resources. 
The first thing for us is not resources. The resources is for the mission. But God wants to perfect us. Do you understand? Amen? Amen. God is concerned about your character. Your, 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 because it is your character, it's the fruit of the Spirit. It's what reflect God, not the gifts. The gift does not reflect God to you. The gift confirm, reflect the name of Jesus. Do you understand? Manifestation of the gift is to say Jesus is alive. That's what the gift is for. But you, it is your lifestyle that people see and say yes. Jesus is in you. Are you following what I'm saying? Jesus is in you. But because people don't even know the difference. Amen? The thing when they see the gift, the gift shows you are powerful. No. The gift reflects the name of Jesus. It is our character. Praise the Lord. Make you perfect. What is the next thing? Establish. When God matured you, he established you. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. This is the progression. They establish you. Then they strengthen you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Then he said to you. It's a progress. It's progression. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's a process. Amen. Amen. He called you. To glory. If to glory. But the, but the process, the procedure, is take you through suffering. Amen? Amen. Then perfect you. Amen. Then establish you. Amen. Then strengthen you. Amen. Then settle you. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. Those days when you have apprentices in Nigeria, we know that they do apprentice for hairdresser, for weather, for electrician. We have apprentices. What are you? You're processing them. After you have processed them, and they come out with good, astounding reputation and, and ability, then the master now give them certificates. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give them freedom. And also, good masters, we say to them, we give them one sewing machine. Are you following what I'm saying? That is settlement. Not just certificate. Bad master, give them certificates and go. Good master, give them what? If more people, that's what. If more people, that, they will open a shop for you. For serving well. Get to a shop and start you up on your own. As settlement. Amen? Amen. 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 The Lord will settle somebody in this place. Amen. The Lord will settle somebody in this place. Amen. Because of time, I just let's look at First Corinthians. Because of time, I just ran it up here. Come and see the Lord is good. Oh, come and see the Lord is good. There is no. He gave me, he gave me victory. He gave me peace of mind. There is nothing he cannot do. Oh, I must see the Lord is good. I say he gave me victory. He gave me peace of mind. There is nothing he cannot do. Oh, come and see the Lord is good. The Bible said in Second Corinthians, sorry, First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6. How be it? We speak wisdom among them that are perfect, that are spiritually mature. 
Yet, not the wisdom of this world, none of the princes of this world that comes to none. You see, the scheme of the enemy are wisdom of this world. And the Bible said it comes to none. And I prophesy under this anointing that every satanic conspiracy against your life, your marriage, your ministry, your destiny shall come to none. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said the wisdom of the princes of this world comes to naught. I declare every conspiracy of household with God against your life and destiny come to naught this hour in the name of Jesus. Sitelemo who kabontini makabrongo shitekiba. Let their broom be broken. It goes He that did a pitch are falling to it. You are a child of God. Let anyone who pursue you pursue you say no, they will not let you go. Let them fall in the pitch. Amen. Amen. I don't curse people. And I don't cause enemy. But I say, if enemy has cost, let that cause be turned back to them. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. It's time for your enemy to know that your God is God. Yes. It's time for your adversary to know that your God is God. Yes. And that is why you must serve God as God. Yes. Not as your boy. Mm. Where was I? Verse 7 says, But we speak the wisdom of God in the mystery. Even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Mm. He said, There is a hidden wisdom, there is a divine plan, there is a purpose, there is a procedure in place for your glory. That the princes of this world are not aware. He said, had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Because they did not know that killing Jesus meant your rising. Oh, yes. I Jesus dying on the cross meant our freedom and liberty. Yes. This is the answer, the solution for every problem. Jesus is the hidden wisdom of God that the princes were not aware of. That God the Father put into effect by giving birth, the virgin giving birth in Bethlehem. And lead the perfect life, suffered and died on the cross. He was delivered from our offenses. He was raised again for our justification. Amen. Being justified by our faith which is in him. We have peace with God. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Jesus Christ is the same solution. Amen. Yesterday, today, Amen. and forever. Amen. It also said, God said to me, I have nothing to add to Jesus. Amen. That whatever you're looking for, if you cannot find in Christ, it does not exist. But the issue is that we have Christ, but we do not know how to take advantage of Christ in us, the hope of glory. Is Christ in us, the hope of glory. The whole essence of Christianity is that statement in Colossians 1 27, that what God will make known unto us the mystery of this glory among the Gentiles, who is Christ in us. The hope of glory. He is the divine wisdom of God, ordained for our glory. When you are in Christ, you are set for glory. You are called to glory. You are destined for glory. You are brought to glory. You are summoned to glory. Your life is to be from glory to glory. Do you understand? And for this, 
He has released his spirit unto us. Amen. And for this, he has given us his word. Amen. Do you know how many people died to make the Bible available? Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people were born to stick because they want to translate this Bible for you and I? Do you know how many died? Do you know what happened to Martin Luther here in Germany? Because he translated the New Testament. I said to the Catholic, something is wrong with your doctrine. Do you know what it cost God? That's my third book, The Cost of Grace. Do you know what it cost God to make grace available? Is the grace for us to live anyhow? No. It's grace to live and no sin. Oh my God. I read this and I close. Mm, I don't like preaching with time pressure. Praise the Lord. That's why I don't enjoy Sunday service. I like conference. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Because I'm like Apostle Paul. I make a case. Amen. Amen. When I'm preaching, I make a case. I build the case and I answer the case. <laughs> so that the people can see. You paint the picture with the scripture until you become a picture. Amen. 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 Second Corinthians chapter 3. Now we see. Oh, I read this. Verse 16. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the vain shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. He said, but we are with open face beholding us in the glass the glory of the Lord. Hello? Christ in us in the hope of glory. But how do we manifest that glory? Amen. Amen. The wisdom to manifest the glory is what he's telling us here now in 2 Corinthians. Amen. Amen. He said, We are beholding as in the glass the glory of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And change into the same image from glory to glory, glory. even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. In other words, as you behold the word of God. As you study the word, beholding in the mirror, the glory is studying of the word. As you meditate on the word of God, as you meditate, as you read and study, you behold Christ. The essence of knowledge is truth. And the essence of truth is experience. You, we, the reason why we, we, we say knowledge, knowledge, knowledge is not for knowledge's sake. Do you understand? Knowledge is not just for knowledge. The essence of knowledge, you say you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The essence of knowledge is to bring us to a truth. And the essence of the truth is to bring us to the reality, the person of Christ. Do you understand? It is not to accumulate information. Geography, biology give you knowledge and understanding of things. But spiritual knowledge is to bring you to truth and agree. It's reality, divine reality. Do you understand? And that reality is to bring you to the person of Christ. Hallelujah. If you just know truth and that truth does not bring you to Christ, it is not a full truth. It is a half truth. You look at that. Every knowledge we have of the world is to bring us to the experience of Christ. To make us encounter God afresh. Do you understand? To make us see what the Lord has done for us. To make us fall in love with him all over again. It's not, it's just, it's not just for the purpose of us getting things. Is for the purpose of knowing God. Do you understand? After Moses has saw everything, he said, Lord, show me now your way that I might know you. After Apostle Paul has saw a lot and wrote and wrote and wrote, he said, that I might know you. And then they said, they that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. It's the knowledge of God. Hello? Truth brings us to an experience. Knowledge brings us to truth. The truth brings us to an experience. 
is said. But we all, with an open face, beholding us in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed, are transformed into the same image from glory to glory. This is a wisdom for glory. It is not outside of the world. It's inside of the world. Amen? Amen. Wisdom for glory. Number one is to behold in the word of God the glory of God and be changed into that image. Amen. It's when you take the word of God into your heart, not in your head. The Holy Spirit take that word and paint the picture for you. Mm. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit take that word and paint the picture for you. And the Holy Spirit use that word to make you, to grow you, Amen. and to shine you. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. What make a child of God solid is the word. Amen? Amen. The, what make a child of God solid is what? The word, the word of God. The word of God in your heart make you strong. It produces faith and confidence. It takes away fear. David said, your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. I want to sin, but the word in my heart that does not let me do it. Do you understand? Because the word of God is in my heart. But if it's in your head, it won't stop you. The word of God does not grow in the head. You only grow in the heart. And the process from it to go from head to heart is called meditation. You think upon it while you are cooking. Stop playing home video. You're just wasting your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you are somebody who sits in the front of home video, you're wasting your life. No matter how much you watch that TV, you cannot become one of the actors. Mm -hmm. Watching TV does not make you get inside the TV. <laughs> they say now you are one of the superstars. No. There are messages on YouTube. There are teachings and preachings on YouTube. Do you understand? While you are cooking, hear the word of God. So I cannot read my Bible. Hear the word. There are talking Bible. Yes. Play. Let it be reading. While you are cooking, you are listening. While you are watching, you are listening. Do you understand? Amen? Amen. While you are in the toilet, you are listening. What are you doing? You think your, your head might be busy, but your spirit is here. Yeah. Do you understand? That's how we grow. You want to say, Pastor, I cannot go through with and not listen to a message. A message that builds my faith. What I need, I go to YouTube. It's free available. Amen? Amen. You play it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I message this on YouTube. Don't use social media for, 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 for wasting your time and your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Meditate on the word. Think the word. Amen. Speak the word. Amen. Answer with the word. Amen. 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 And your life will begin to change. Amen. With no human effort. The word does it. It says we are being changed by the Spirit. It's the Holy Ghost and the ingredient he used is his word. That's the building block. That's the building material for the kingdom of God. Do you understand? I stop here. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let's stand up in our feet and just bless the name of the Lord. And I will give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. As we love you.